But I feel like they would they would also think, I mean, this is what I always hear. I mean, they always say stuff like, you know, um, people on welfare, so you want to cut their welfare or, or at least minimize it somehow and make them go out and work. Um, and, and as far as Social Security is concerned. And wait, wait, hang, they on, don't, hang on. So wait, are you saying women on welfare would have to go out and work? Yes, I mean, that's... Or just people you know, as a whole. Uh, well, I mean, there's mostly well, there's mostly single moms on welfare, right? As far as I know. Yeah, no, they they don't have to go out and work. Of course, what they have to do is they have to be such great women that they snag themselves a guy who will take care of them and their kids while he goes to work. That's all. Well, they that, just have to up their sexual market value to the point where people will put up with their kids, the kids of another guy. But that's it's well, as simple as that. I mean, it's, it, they don't have to go to work. You cut off welfare, they'll just find guys and be just great sandwich making back rub giving, foot rub giving, uh, you know, scented bath with candles giving, great listener, great conversationalist giving people who will, man will be like, yeah, I'll take your kids. You're so fantastic. I love you so much. Wonderful, right? That's all. They, they, no, they don't have to go to work. They just have to be great partners for some guy. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, besides, besides that, I mean, I agree with that. But besides that, um, the, the, you know, argument against, against uh, small government would be um, a bunch of people um, I don't know, like, whatever the liberal argument is against, I can't think of it right now. I mean, they always say, they always come up with some, you know, they always come up with some reason as to why we need government to, to do certain things for us, like, you know, roads or, or health care or, or whatever. Um, and personal responsibility is never part of that argument. Um, and, but I, I feel like it has to be. I mean, manufacturing jobs have collapsed. 50,000 jobs a month in America lost every single year during most of this um, century, this decade and a half. Uh, men's wages have, have collapsed uh, relative to women's. They've gone down even farther. I mean, I'll have sympathy for all of the bleating women of self-victimization the moment I see them really caring about what's happening to men, what's happening to boys in the educational system, what's happening to men in the post apocalyptic, post-manufacturing world, which was the standard ladder to the middle class for men in the past. I will, I will really, really care about women when I see women bursting into tears about the plight of boys, heavily medicated for not being girls. When I see uh, 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 the women crying about the plight of boys who don't have male role models, when I see women criticizing women for choosing shitty guys to have kids with, and then those guys leave and putting burdens on other men and women who are more responsible. When I see women um, marching down the streets for candlelit vigils for the high number of male suicides, particularly after they've been through the ringer of the family court system in the United States, when I see women weeping their supposedly copious tears for the plight of men in the modern world, then I will care what happens to single moms after the welfare state goes away. But until that comes, until I see women actually portraying and living in an actually vivid way, in a lived vivid way, all of the compassion that women are supposed to be so famous for, all the compassion that they have, they're such sensitive feeling creatures. Okay, well, men are having a very tough time in society at the moment. Men are having an incredibly tough time, and boys in particular. They're spanked more, they're downgraded more, they're medicated more, they're punished more, uh, they're hurt more, they're abused more than girls. When I see women saying, sorry, sisters, we got to get some men into this early education thing because these guys have no mentors and we're so sensitive to the lack of mentors as I talked about in the previous segment. When I see women really beginning to focus all of the supposed laser-like estrogen-driven tears of sympathy, empathy, and gratitude and sensitivity and openness and warmth and caring and concern and love and compassion and support, and when I see all of this supposedly giant boobs of, of uh, of compassion eclipsing the harsh shun, sun that is currently drying out the eyeballs of lonely, desert-wandering, apocalyptic boys' experience in the modern West, then I will really begin to care about women, but I will not grant one iota more of compassion than I receive in this life. That is the great lesson that men need to relearn. Do not grant more compassion than you receive. An excess of compassion, as I said before and will say again, is a sin and a crime.